Hi guys, welcome to Mini Talk in Chemistry. Today we will talk about the Unman reaction, which is a useful tool for forming carbon sp2, carbon sp2, or carbon sp2 heteroatom bonds in organic synthesis and drug discovery. We will look at two different transformations known as the Unman reaction, the classic Unman reaction and the Unman type reaction. Then comes the proposed mechanism for each transformation transformation followed by a brief discussion about the conditions. The classic Unman reaction is an organic reaction that uses copper metal and thermal conditions to couple two molecules of aryl halide to form the abiaryl. And the Unman type reaction includes copper catalyzed nucleophilic aromatic substitution with aryl halide to form the desired product. In 1901, Unman discovered the condensation of two octopromo nitro benzene in the presence of copper at 210 to 220 degrees Celsius to give the corresponding pi aryl products. Since then, many different symmetrical or unsymmetrical pi aryl products have been synthesized using this route. The second example is the synthesis of an unasymmetrical pi aryl in which the promo aryl were used in excess as one 1.5 equivalent for one equivalent of the iodo aryl. This reaction will employ in the total synthesis of kinamycin published in 2007. The last example is a condensation of aryl bromide and a phenol to give aryl ether. This reaction was used in the total synthesis of clavazepine published in 1994. The mechanism of the Unman reaction is not completely understood. There are two popular mechanisms. The first mechanism is a radical mechanism involving the single electron transfer from the copper metal to the aryl halide for forming an aryl radical. Two aryl radicals then react and form the final biaryl product. The second mechanism includes an oxidative addition of the copper to the aryl halide and followed by a single electron transfer and form an organocuprate reagent. The organocuprate then perform another oxidative addition on an aryl halide followed by a reductive elimination to yield the final biaryl product. Ullmann type reactions proceed through a catalytic cycle in which copper were connected with the nucleophile part undergoes oxidative addition to form a copper tree species followed by reductive elimination to provide the desired product and regenerate the copper one species. The low cost and low toxicity of copper make Ullmann type reactions appealing, but usually the classic Ullmann requires stoichiometric amount of copper, harsh reaction condition, strong base, and polar organic solvent. Great efforts have been made to minimize this problem and mark progress achieved. For example, a ferrocyte and practical metal that the copper powder catalyzed Ullmann amination of aryl halide with aqueous methylamine at 100 degree and in air gave an aryl in good to excellent use published in 2011. Keep in mind that in this reaction, copper can be replaced by nickel or palladium. For more information about copper-mediated coupling reaction, please check chemical review published in 2008. I hope you now have a better understanding of the Ullmann reaction. Thank you for watching and see you next time. <laughs>